as we're speaking. Oh, adventures with his family he's seeking. Reporting weather, telling stories wherever he goes. It's the Ezra Speaking Show. Yay! We have Ezra in the kitchen Me with too. us too. I'm thrilled. That Jason Michael Thomas making making biscuits and gravy. Yeah. I was just showing him how to remove the leaves from thyme. So oh. he was watching while we were while we were doing the other segment. So it's just fun. Kids have a great time in the kitchen. They, they're very curious and they want to learn. And I think that's just a super awesome thing. And yeah. so, yeah, we can do a segment anytime, Ezra, whenever you're ready. It'll be fun to do. You like cooking, Ezra? You like cooking, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. So in the pan already, I've got some ground pork. And this is, of course, Becker Farms ground pork. Locally sourced. Locally sourced. Uh, red onions from Farming Engineers. I just basically cut up a half an onion. And I've got a couple cloves of garlic that I'm putting in here as well. And, you know, that's all it takes to make your kitchen smell good, right? Everybody walks in, they're like, it smells so good. That's just onions and garlic, guys. No problem. <laughs> so from here, depending on how salty the sausage is, you know, you add some, some, some salt as well. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it ride. We can taste it after the fact. Now, did you put any, like, olive oil or anything in there to start? No, just, the, the pork just fat the is pork plenty. Fat. Okay. Absolutely. So the key to thickening a sauce, I mean, there's lots of ways to thicken a sauce. We could talk about a roux, which I've done on, on here before, and use equal parts of flour and butter. But one way to do it is with cornstarch. So the rule is about a tablespoon of cornstarch per co uh, cup of liquid that you have. Uh -huh. But to add the cornstarch, you want to make what's called a slurry. Mm. So I'm just going to add this water, and this is going to get absorbed really fast. See how I just stir it up? See how that's coming together? Because if you dump the cornstarch directly in there, you're going to get it. You'll get a powdery, clumpy yeah, business. Yeah. So just by putting a little water in here, you see the way it just soaked it right up, and now it's kind of a, a slurry is what we call it. So I'll just float that around in there, but I'm not going to add that yet. I just want to make sure I had it done. So we've got the nice brown stuff in here. We've got uh, browning on the bottom, which is just fine. We're going to add some water. Basically, I've got a cup of water and a cup of cream to about a half pound of sausage. And you see that, how it's all bubbly and looking good? Yeah. So check it out. Oh, I've got to yeah. turn this heat up. It smells good too, Ezra, doesn't he? Smell that? Yes. Yeah. And then we want to add our herbs, right? Because we got our fresh thyme that we just did. Mm -hmm. So we've got fresh garlic, fresh onion, fresh thyme. And we're getting this to a boil. And now the key is the only thing you need to thicken a sauce with cornstarch, once you do the slurry, you can pour this in at any time once it's going. And then all you have to do is bring it to a boil. So we're getting close here. And I think it's going to happen before our segment's over. <laughs> but yeah, and then right after this, once it thickens up, it, it's coming, it's coming. But I've also got some nice, fresh, wild garlic chive that we're going nice. to sprinkle on top. I'm going to reach behind you and grab a biscuit out oh, of the oven okay. while that thickens. Are you getting hungry, Ezra? Yes, I am. That's in here. Yeah, go ahead. So you can see as it boils, it thickens right up. Give it a little more time there. I'm going to cut this biscuit in half. Look at that. Oh. This is for you, Ezra. Yeah, you gonna eat this? Yeah. He said he might not like the gravy, and I was like, that's fine. Don't even sweat it if you don't like it. We also want to add some pepper. We need this, to taste it, too. Now, your biscuits are different than, I've had your regular breads often, and they're, they're very dense. Yeah, well, light and fluffy biscuits, there's yeah. some tricks to that. There's definitely some tricks to that. So look at how thick it is now. Fantastic. Look at that. Just a little cornstarch, you know, a tablespoon per cup of mm -hmm. liquid. And then, without having tasted it, I'm going to use this stuff. And it's also cooler, so it's not going to burn your mouth, okay. right? So that's the secret of the magic of television. And you want to break off a little piece, and I'll put some gravy on it for you? Okay. Go ahead. And you don't have to like it. If you don't like it, that's okay. Would you scoot it over the plate for me? Perfect. So don't, get any on, don't get any on your suit. Yeah, don't get it on your coat there. Hot. It's still hot? Uh, hot, hot. That, that, that one's not even hot. Are you okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you need some water? <laughs> How hot is it? Are you going to be okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, not too hot then. You made it. For now on, I like gravy. You like gravy? <laughs> okay, awesome. Good. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm really glad you liked it. George, you want to try a little bit? Did yeah. you already try some? I, I, haven't, I haven't tried any I've got yet, another but... chunk of biscuit here. Okay. Can I put that in your hand? I got it. You want a little more gravy? Maybe it is a little hot. Well, let's be careful. Hey, hey, Ezra, for breakfast in the morning. Careful, George, because it is warm. Does your dad make breakfast for you in the morning now? Yes. Does he, what does he make mm. for you? He, he, he usually makes me eggs. Eggs Very and good. toast with nutella. Oh, right here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. 
Yeah, so that's the secrets of the gravy. Now we can go back to this one. See how thick this is? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. That's fantastic, uh, guys. Thank you. Man. Mm. I'm going to taste this because this is the fresh batch. And this is really hot, so I, I've got the chef mouth, though. So. Yeah, yeah my mouth. Chef? That was just boiling, and I'm like, my mouth is fine. Okay. I know kids are a little. A little it's yeah. actually quite good, yeah. I'm it glad was... you're okay, so I didn't burn you too bad. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of salt, and that fresh black pepper makes it all happen, too. It, it really wasn't too hot juice. Oh, good, good, good. Items. Scared oh, me it there. It was perfect, is what it was. Scared so. me there. Scared oh. me there. It's all good. You don't want to injure the kids on TV. No. <laughs> I'm glad you're all right. And I'm glad you like my gravy because kids, if they like your food, yeah, they're, they're not going to lie on TV. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Not like Alice and me. We'll lie all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are. You, you, Anything for me. I'll, I'll slip right you right the right check. Right. I'll slip you the check later for yeah. saying you liked it. <laughs> yeah.